Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks so much for watching today. I really wasn't planning on filming today because <laughs> um, this is like my everyday makeup. This is what I wear. I wear concealer, brows, a little bit of mascara, and then lipstick and whatever lipstick I have here, I, you know, stick my fingers in and pat on as blush. That's kind of been like my easy default go-to <laughs> uh, when I want to look like me, but in color. Anyway, so I'm not wearing all the makeup today. I'm wearing my really minimal, like two and a half minute routine, but I wanted to show you some things that have just been arriving in the mail. I haven't been doing a lot of beauty shopping, but some of these are gifts. Some of these are replacements for things in my collection and some things I've been truly curious about. Do they work? Are they great? I want to show them with you. Thanks for watching today and let's jump right in. I made a purchase when they were having a sale. Was it the Cyber Week sale? I forget what it is. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about static nails. Now these are basically a glue on false nail and these are reusable pop-on manicures. So the idea is you put glue on the back of the nail, you put glue on your finger, you hold the two together and they can last for up to two weeks. They're also reusable. When I was like, really? Cause a lot of times I remember growing up in the eighties and there were the press on nails, like the Lee press on nails. Remember those? <laughs> Maybe you're not old enough. Maybe you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those were great until you were right in the middle of doing something. And all of a sudden you're like, boop. And like you realize you've lost one and, and where is it? <laughs> um, these don't use like those double-sided adhesive nail shaped stickers. These actually use nail glue. And the idea is you're, you're able to paint these if you want to, you're able to shape them if you want to, and you can reuse them with that same nail glue. And that is super intriguing to me because I feel like the other nails were never really made to be more than you use them and once they start coming off, you gotta get rid of them and get a whole new set. Um, I have not, I, I used to be really big about painting my nails. I used to paint my nails like every other day. It'd be the one thing I did in the evening before going to bed. I'd take my old polish off and I would change my polish. And I had so much fun with nail polish for years, years and years and years. And I just have fallen out of a habit, I would say 2019. And uh, they're, they're, they're not glamorous, but they're not like super short. I do end up with like hangnails and stuff, but I love and I miss the taking the time to do my nails, but it's just not part of my lifestyle anymore. And I don't know, especially now that it's winter time, because if I were to paint my nails with traditional polish and then get in the bathtub, forget it, it's over. The type of bathtub soaks I take, I'm in there for hours and it would soak all of my polish off. Not these guys. So I got two boxes. Uh, this one here is a beautiful kind of deep blue. And the other one looks like a really nice neutral pinky shade. And I'm excited to try these. I will have to let you know how it goes. So I recently made a beauty pie purchase and I realized I didn't actually post any of my goodies. Uh, I will insert a picture for you here of, I posted it on Instagram, but I have in the last year and a half, I have fallen in love with Beauty Pie. Really, really, really in love. My recent purchases, most of them are skincare. The skincare is already put away in my bathroom. That's where I keep all my skincare. But I got some beauty stuff. One of the things I got, it came in this cute little, look, it's like a little Christmas tree ornament. My oldest daughter has been asking for hair ties and she has been struggling with hair breakage and I'm trying to help her learn, you know, the best type of hair ties to use, how to tie your hair so that you have less of that breakage. And she asked for some silk scrunchies and these ones from Beauty Pie are absolutely gorgeous. So in this little ornament, there are six. There are two burgundy, there are two black and two of these neutral colors. And she's like, I love those. And she specifically saw these and had been asking for them because the, the, I think there's another brand, a Kitsch brand, I forget what it is. There's another brand that sells silk hair ties like this. Is it Slip? Whoever it is, they're really expensive. These I think were under $20 for six and they're hundred percent silk and they feel incredible. So it won't break her hair. It'll, she'll be able to take her ponytail out and not have like a little crimp in her hair. Excited to have these for her. That's one of her Christmas gifts. I also picked up one of my favorite lip glosses. Their Wonder Collagen Lip Oil is, it's my favorite thing. So I have these everywhere. This one is, you know, we're getting through it. We're getting down to where it's almost half gone. 
Here's another one that I love. You can see I'm like halfway through this one. I also have two more that just hit the empties bin. And one of the ones I am replacing is this shade right here. This is Spicy Pink. I love these lip glosses. So they are glossy, they are plump, they are juicy. The one thing that gloss can do that I hate the most is for it to kind of settle in the outside corners. And then as you talk, it sticks to itself and it strings and pulls like a, like a melty grilled cheese sandwich that has the cheese pulling in between. Ugh, I can't stand that. Any product that does that on my lips, forget it. This is nice, this is plush, and this shade Spicy Pink is just gorgeous. I love so much, and I just finished one, so I, I had to get it. And it smells sweet, but not too sweet. It's not heavily scented, but it just smells delightful going on. This is my favorite gloss, and I've gone through so many tubes. I've gone through four tubes in the last 12 months. I can't remember the last time I finished four tubes of anything in a year. This is good stuff. I have liked their lip products so much. I've tried their matte formula. I've tried their Lux Glossy formula. I've tried their satin formula, which I don't think they're selling anymore. I wanted to go through and try some other Beauty Pie products for the lips that I have yet to try. This is one of their lip liners. This is their Wonder Gel Longwear Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Vanilla Nude. I wonder, ooh, it'd be a really good match to go along with this. Oh, that's exciting. I love the Lisa Eldridge lip liners, like devoted, but they're $25 a piece. I wanna find a less expensive alternative. I like the Pat McGrath ones, but those are also in the 20s. The Charlotte Tilbury ones are what, $22, $23? Yeah, I'm trying to find less expensive loves for lip liners. So cross your fingers with me that this one for Beauty Pie will be fantastic. I also picked up one of their color balms. This is their Shine Up Lip Color Balm, and this is in the shade Love, love, love. I love something like this. <laughs> I know it's weird to say it right after hearing what the name is, but I want something that's easy. Right here, oh, oh, this is gonna be perfect for like the type of day I'm having today where I'm not really wearing a ton of makeup just to keep my lips glossy and it feels really, ooh, really nice. It's, it's a little more nude than I would normally lean towards, but okay, hello. And the last makeup item I got, I have heard Kate the Great rave about their mascara, especially this one right here. This is their Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. <sighs> I don't know. I have not found anything. It's, it's just a really nice traditional wand, but we'll see. I have not found anything that I love as much as the Lancome Mr. Big. Now there are other mascaras that I buy. The one that I'm wearing today is the Pick Me Up Mascara from M Cosmetics because it's a tubing mascara. Super easy to take off. A little bit of water and it slides right off. That's what I love about tubing mascaras. Um, this is not a tubing mascara, but I'm hoping that this Uber Boost Volume Mascara will give me the sort of big fluffy lashes that I like when I'm wearing a full like eye look that can really make it look like boom, got some great stuff going on. All right, so that's everything I picked up from Beauty Pie. So the next brand I made a purchase from is from M Cosmetics. I have fallen in love head over heels with M as a brand. I really feel like the type of makeup they put out is the type of makeup I want to wear. One of my favorite things from them is their illustrative eyeliner. And I love it so much. I mentioned in a previous video that I still have two backup boxes just like sitting right here because I refuse to be without my favorite things. And that eyeliner is one of them. So on Cyber Monday, I got an email saying, we're having a sale today. I didn't order anything on Black Friday because I was trying really hard to be good. But when they sent me a reminder that they were having a Cyber Monday sale and that their prices were really good, I was like, okay, I, ha I have to. <laughs> I have to. One of my favorite products from them is their Fine Liner Brow Pencil. It gives the skinniest, teeniest, tiniest, and you can draw on brow hairs with this pencil. It is literally my favorite pencil. It draws on the thinnest, skinniest little marks, thinner than an Anastasia Brow Wiz, thinner than a micro brow from NYX. It's amazing. It's not oval, it's not tear shaped, it's not round. It's literally like a little twig of color. It is the best, love it. So I love it so much that I bought two more. I, I couldn't help myself. 
They were such a great deal. I was like, this is the one thing, and I do go through this fairly quickly. I did not want to be without it. I use the shade Deep Taupe. The other product that I bought two of, because I will not be without, is this. This is their Micro Fluff Brow Cream. So here are my little two little boxes. So I have both their pencil and their fiber gel. I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. It had the same little teeny tiny skinny wand like this. It had fibers in it. It had everything I wanted. And I loved the way it looked. My made my brows look. I absolutely loved it. And I wanted to try this one. So I tried it at the beginning of this year and I really loved it. I feel like the shade Universal Taupe is a better shade match for me than what I had been using from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I looked at the prices. The Charlotte Tilbury one is $22.50. This is $20. I was like, okay, I'm saving $2.50. But then I looked at how much you're getting. The Charlotte Tilbury one is 1.2 grams. This is 2.5 grams. You're getting twice as much in here as you are in the other. So I was like, give me two. They, they were on sale. This is the one thing that I'm gonna double down and use and use and use and use. It's just that good. So when I made a purchase, I also wanted to try another one of their um, new dewy eyeshadows. I have one already. This one here is in Moonrise. And I had a question about whether the formula I got was a little bit dry or whether this one here was going to be a little bit different. Because I remember seeing people, you know, be able to put their finger in it and it just kind of glided. The, the first one that I got here, this one, I put my finger in it and it just, it like instantly sticks to my finger and it's, it, it feels a little drier than I expected this formula to be. And I get so much product on there that when I go to put it on my eyelid, it's beautiful, but because it is kind of like a creamy product, I thought maybe it's, this one's partially dried out. So I, I don't know. No, this has the same texture. That's okay, so that's the texture that it is. So this is the new shade here. This one is in Wish, this one is in Moonrise. But let me show you these guys because these, the metallic on them is gorgeous. This is the new one in Wish, this is Moonrise. These are the sorts of shades that I wear every day. The problem that I have is that these guys settle into the crease right here and then there can sometimes look like there's a crack in my eyeshadow. The nice thing is, like if I have a concealer collecting in my under eye crinkles, I can just tap it out. Same with this, I'll just tap it out and it'll be fine. But they're uber metallic, there's no fallout. These guys are beautiful, I'm glad to have them. And I'm surprised I've been paying a lot for single shadows recently, because I already tried the new ones from Lisa Eldridge, but <laughs> I really have been enjoying these. One of the promotions they were running on Cyber Monday was if you happened to make a purchase over a certain amount, and I wasn't trying to, I knew I wanted the eyeshadow and I wanted two of each brow product. And that took me over that, whatever the amount was, I don't remember if it was 50 or $70 or whatever it was, they included a couple of bonus items. One of them was this. This is their True Gloss formula, and this is the shade Quartz. So this is just a completely clear, glossy lip gloss and it looks like this it catches the light beautifully there is no sparkle there's i do love their other glosses and i have a couple of them my favorite one is this one here this one is moroccan sunset but i love the formula the same way that i love the formula for the ones from beauty pie they don't collect in the corners they don't string and pull i don't think i ever would have purchased the clear one but since they sent it to me you better you better believe i'm gonna be using that the other thing they sent, which was totally unexpected, comes in this cute little bag. They were sending out a pair of these little earrings and I would never have purchased these on my own. Let me see if I can show them to you here. So these are the earrings, you know, a little star and a little moon. And I don't know if they're Swarovski crystals or if they're whatever they are, they're cute. I will wear them, but I don't think I ever would have purchased these on my own, but they were kind of like the bonus along with the gloss for spending a certain amount on Cyber Monday. Last thing I did is I went to Ulta. The reason I went to Ulta is because my daughter, my oldest daughter, Ava, who's gonna be 14 in March, was asking for a fragrance for Christmas. She has never worn perfumes. I've given her little samples, but she doesn't have like her own fragrance. And she told me that she wanted to get to the point where she wore something every day, but something really light. So this is not something that I did where I chose a fragrance for her. I took her with me. We smelled everything in our local Ulta and this is what she chose. She chose Kate Spade, New York. 
And then the notes in this are, uh, I think strawberry is one of the notes. And it really smells kind of like a, not too sweet, but kind of like a sweet strawberry candy. And up to me, it's nice because it's not really heavy. It's not really musky or really spicy. I think it's really a nice light scent and I think appropriate for a young girl. And so I thought, you know, let me, I don't want to just grab something I think you'll like. Let's take you and you smell what, and you tell me what you like. So she knows this is going to be under the tree for her. Um, but we had fun doing that. So while we were at Ulta, I decided to pick up a fragrance for myself. I picked up the Victor and Rolf Bonbon. I have fallen in love with Victor and Rolf fragrances. Uh, the first one that I got was their Flower Balm. And I got that, ooh, was it like 15, 16 years ago? When it initially launched, uh, my parents brought it back um, from Germany before it was even available in the United States. And I fell in love with it. And every time they've released another one, I have liked most of them. This one I like a lot and have only had samples of, but I'm glad to have gotten it. I also got a 20% off coupon for fragrances and so I was like okay one for you one for me if you have watched my recent eyeshadow declutter you'll notice that there are a lot of ColourPop single shadows in there and there was one that I found on the website and it looks like it's cracked there's a little crack in it this is the shade Kush and as long as it's not oh it's still soft I don't care because I can just press it back in this was the shade that was mostly dry in my collection. But look at that. Oh, I love this color. I wonder how similar it is to the ones from M. The formulation feels different. And this one definitely is, it's kind of similar to Moonrise, but it seems a little icier, a little cooler. This one seems like a little bit more vanilla. So a little more silvery, a little more champagne, and definitely a little bit more bronze. But this shade in Kush is one of my all-time favorites. Love that so much. I also picked up a just a plain, super lustrous Revlon lipstick. Uh, these were on sale when I picked it up. I think they were like $2.99, $3.99. I was like, uh, yes, please. And this is the shade Cherries in the Snow. I have never in my life tried the shade Cherries in the Snow. There are some really famous shades like Fire and Ice. I have one of those in a different formulation, but it's been so long since I've tried just a plain old super lustrous lipstick that I was like, maybe it's time. And you know me, I love a red. Like obviously I'm wearing red today. Oh, so pretty. I can see why this is one of those favorites. This feels more like a hot pink than a red to me, but that's okay. It wasn't expensive and it's been a while since I've tried a super lustrous lipstick, just their plain cream formula. So I'm glad to try this out. And I know that I will use a shade like this. The last thing that I picked up is this. It's from Kiss, it's their False Scara. And the idea is, is that these little teeny tiny sets of lashes, you dip into their adhesive and instead of putting them on top of your lash band, you glue them like on the underside. And the idea is they're supposed to stay, you know, either just for a day, but depending on how long you want them, you can leave them on for several days. And so I could wake up in the morning with perfect, beautiful, fluffy lashes every day, and it doesn't actually interfere with the growth of your natural lashes. Well, we'll see about that, but I have always struggled putting on a traditional like lash with a lash band. Sometimes they're too heavy. Sometimes they don't trim them right. Sometimes they don't get them placed right. And one of them, you know, is pointing down the other one's going. Anyway, I've never really managed to try hard enough to get good at false lashes, but this seemed like it might be a little bit easier. And it says that they last up to 10 days. I was like, yeah, let's try that. So I got these, they were already on sale. And then I got a 20% off on top of that. So that's how something that I normally don't use made it into my Ulta cart. Well, there you go. Um, recent kind of haul of little things, some gifts for uh, my daughter and some, of course, things for myself that I want to try out. I would love to know if you've been making any beauty purchases recently. Are you repurchasing things? Are you trying something else from a brand that you know you already love? Um, getting things that you've had in your collection for a long time that just really make you happy. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I will see you again soon. Bye.